Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm gonna to share with you guys why you should get a 3D printer for your laser engraver, no matter what laser engraver you have. And I'm gonna share with you guys jigs and parts that you can print off and examples of many different lasers that this works with. Um, so you can just buy like a real cheap uh, 3D printer like this. This is the A1 from the Bamboo Labs company. Um, the reason why I went with this one is it was cheap, but it had a larger printing area. So that way, if you need a taller jig, uh, you can print that off on this. You may be able to get away with the A1 Mini, which is even cheaper than this one. But this is a very good starting range here, especially if you're doing just a single solid color, like all of these prints are. Um, you can buy um, the uh, AMS Lite, which is a multicolor printing for this uh, this printer if you want to do multicolor prints, but um, you probably seen me review the P1S, which is a larger version of this that's an enclosed unit that has the regular AMS system that does multicolor printing. Uh, I bought this shortly after. This is the first time I'm ever showing this on the channel. I just wanted to share with you guys a cheap printer you can get into making jigs and parts for any of your laser engravers. So first up, I wanted to share this jig with you right here. This one I recently printed off and shared with you in a video for the We Create laser engraver. Um, this is just a jig that you use and you can buy this little top piece here for like 17 bucks on Amazon. That top piece was not 3D printed, um, just the bottom was. But this piece goes into this cup like this and then you attach this to a rotary tool like this, uh, except you would do the We Create's rotary tool and then this would actually engrave back and forth on that rotary tool and it holds it a lot more secure than these little uh, jaw clamps do here. So uh, this is an awesome option. I'll put a link down below for the free download of this file and where you can buy a more advanced version if you wanna buy one, if you don't have a printer. Um, now with that said, we have multiple different options here too. You can see this is the RA2 rotary engraver from Xtool here. This works on all of Xtool's products. Um, you can see I got this jig down here that kind of just molds to the bottom of this and pops into place. That's for the F1, the standard F1, the small version of the F1 Ultra, and that will just lock it in the center of the machine, and then it'll be in the perfect position to engrave every single time. Um, Similar with the F1 Ultra here, I just printed this jig last night and it's gonna come in handy. It's just like a large L, has two holes and then you can screw it into the front of the machine here. I think you put it about this area right here and then you would screw it down and then the RA2 Pro would just slide right in like that. But imagine it's screwed down. I'm not gonna screw it down now. And then it'll be a perfect area to engrave every single time you put a cup in there, it'll be in the right focus area every single time. I'm super excited to try that out as well. And this was just a couple cents to print this off. I mean, the uh, an entire roll like this is probably like 13 bucks, um, if that, depending on if you get it on sale. Um, and then last but not least, we have the little extension port for a Glowforge. So you've probably seen us do a lot of Glowforge videos. I probably have a couple hundred videos on Glowforge because that's how the channel got started. Um, this goes on that little tiny lip on the back of the exhaust port um, output for the Glowforge. This extends it, allowing you to get that little metal ring on the back way easier. This thing is super handy. Um, Joe sells this. I'll go ahead and put some links to where you can purchase this at. I don't know if there's a free version of this that you can download, but you may be able to purchase like an actual version of this you can download and print too. But in general, if you know how to do any kind of 3D uh, design work or you're willing to put in the effort to learning that, you can print all sorts of stuff for your lasers to improve your laser experience. Um, if you guys have questions on any of the jigs, the A1 or the F1 Ultra or any other laser that I mentioned today, let me know down in the comments below. I'll go ahead and put some affiliate links to lasers that I have. I don't have any affiliate links to a 3D printer. I just wanted to share with you guys that it is a really cool thing to get. And uh, this is a very affordable uh, 3D printer here that you can get started with. And you can even go a little bit cheaper with the A1 Mini as long as you don't need a large jig to print off. 
But other than that, I hope you guys found some value out of this and we'll catch you guys in the next one.